I would like to start in the book of Genesis in chapter 1. It says, in the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. Praise God. He made the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. And there was darkness on the face of the deep. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Bible says that on the earth it was dark. It was chaos everywhere. And so the Spirit of God was over that chaos. He was over the sea. The Spirit of God was over it. Over a chaotic earth a chaotic and dark earth. This morning, we are going to have a special, a special time in the presence of God. Yes, God. Because when we look at all over the world, at this moment in time, the church can no longer meet in mass. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Because of a virus that is now that is now terrorizing the entire planet a virus the issue here is not to know if it is a natural phenomenon or if it is a man-made one the issue here is that in the scriptures we've been told thousands of years ago that in the last days there will be a lot of judgments in the world of men yes. and for those who are well aware of the scriptures they can see that the fulfillment is taking place yes. hallelujah praise God and so the very first the very first one was the judgment against Lucifer and his angels. And so that led to a war between the angels of God and the angels of darkness. In that fight, the Bible says that Lucifer and all the fallen angels were defeated and they were thrown into the earth and when that happened the bible is saying that the earth was chaotic because of that big fight and those who are into science when they talk about the big bang they think that it is a scientific fact but the issue that they do not understand is that it was as a result of that big fight between the angels of God and the fallen angels. Hallelujah. Praise God. And then we also see that that after that, Adam and Eve, you know, they fell mm. under the seduction of the devil. Yes. And that led to giants on earth. Mm. And that also led to a corrupted human nature. And so there was another big event that took place. The flood. The entire earth was destroyed. Many people died. Hallelujah. Praise God. But before it, it took place, the Bible is showing us that God warned. There were warnings. Yeah. He warned everyone. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Wow, praise God. Thank Hallelujah. you so much, man of God, for the opportunity. Hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, I like it so much that you are now uh, taking us from, you know, starting from the beginning. 
beginning, yes, so that we should have the whole insight, insight of what is really happening yes. here in the world. So, uh, God wants the people that in years to come are going to destroy human race. Mm. He told Noah about it, yes, and Noah, he told the people, yes. And now the problem was people they could not believe that they message. didn't care much didn't about what he was saying. And the Bible says that they thought that Noah was drunk. <laughs> they thought that Noah was crazy. In other words, to them it was something impossible in their mind. But we are seeing that God fulfilled that promise. His word, his came word to pass. came to pass. The flood came. The flood came. And the people perished. People perished. Wow. And it is something that the same promise is the same God who is speaking. Mm. He is saying that in the last days oh. they shall be perilous. Mm. They shall be, you know, sicknesses, mm. deadly diseases, earthquakes, earthquakes, wars. God said it. And they are, you know, we are men of God that we are preaching this message. Yes. But men, they are taking us lightly. They are taking us lightly. I just want to um, to pick an aspect that you just mentioned now. Amen. Okay? That when the Lord said that this is going to happen, whenever we see it in the scriptures it does not mean that it is the Lord that is going to hit that is going to destroy the earth yes. it's not God yes it means that when he says it he prophesies he, he saw it coming he sees it come yes in other words he is is actually saying to us that the way you are going the things that you are doing are going to lead you to destruction. Exactly. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's and powerful. I am very sure that that if Isaiah was a bit more deeper, I am sure that he would have also seen that God in heaven gave a lot of warnings to Lucifer. Yes. To say, Lucifer, be careful. But he did not listen. Wow, I like it. <laughs> the way that I marked is that when God says something, you are telling us that where you are going, mm. the world, where it is going, you are going to face a destruction. Destruction. So it is not God bringing... It's not Him. These all things that we are seeing happening on earth, it is as a result of where we are heading. Our behavior. Our behavior. Our actions. You know, our own science. The science that we have. Oh I will take a simple example, you know, about the science of men. We are the ones that are manufacturing biological weapons. Now, in our minds, we have them against other nations which are other, you know, other people. But those ones are actually affecting the common earth that we are sharing. So it's a science, it's a nice thing, but it is leading us to destruction. Yes. yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the issue here is, is not to try to know is it a natural thing that has happened or is it a man-made whatever the case is you know is that the virus is here yes. Yes. thousands of people are dying yes. but it is amazing that many of God's you know church members are terrorized yes Yes. How is it so, man of God? Uh, I believe that because of the lack of the understanding of the word of God. And the 
understanding of the ignorance of the word of God. It has brought fear in the hearts of the Lord of the believers. Wow. Because you cannot be afraid or fear something that you are under control. <laughs> if you are in control of a certain situation, oh, you cannot be afraid of that situation. Because you know you are in control. Yes. But now, this situation, a lot of believers, to them it has overwhelmed them already. Oh. It is over them. They mm. don't know what to do. Mm. 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 The word of God, it is not even, you know, coming in the mind what God said <laughs> and what to do in the situations like this. Oh, they are ignorant. So because of that, devil is taking advantage. Yes. You know, yes. devil is taking advantage, advantage to bring and activate the spirit of fear in their lives. Oh, hallelujah. I just want to read in Exodus chapter 12. Praise God. Verse. Okay. Let me start from verse 21. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says, Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel and said to them, I want you to pick out and to take lambs for yourselves according to your families yes. and kill the Passover lamb and you shall take a bunch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lintel and the two doorposts with the blood that is in the basin. And none of you shall go out of the door of his house until morning. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, what have we heard from all the governments across the world where, you know, I mean, where the situation has, has, has increased? They said, don't go out social distancing it's nothing new god gave it to the children of israel in egypt he said to them stay indoors <laughs> hallelujah Praise god. stay indoors no, i mean as the church as the church of god we are not supposed to do things out of fear yes the reason why we choose to stay indoors is not because we were instructed it is because it is the right thing to do at this moment in time. This is the people of God yes. in Egypt. Yes. And the yes. Egyptians don't care about God. They do not live by the ways of the Lord. Amen. And therefore the Lord has seen that a great judgment is coming on Egypt. By seeing the angel of death, of death. Yes. is coming down and is going to destroy all the firstborn in Egypt and therefore the instruction that the Lord is giving them is to say to them that none of you shall go out yes. out of the door of his house until morning hallelujah Praise God. because the angel of death had to come now it is amazing that the church today is unaware of these things yes we've been deceived by wrong doctrines, by wrong teachings. That is the reason why the, the whole church worldwide is panicking. Yes, yes. But God said that, he said to the children of Israel that for as long as the angel of death is going to be, I mean, at that time, it was just going to be through the night. But in our time, it's not a single night. Hallelujah. Praise God. We need to know. So God says that, don't go out, stay indoor, and then while you are indoor, I want you to do the Passover. Yes. I want you, you know, to kill the lamb, to take the blood and to put it, you know, on every door as a sign to the angel of death. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And then verse 23, and then it says, for the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians. And when he sees the blood, can you see? Yes. When he sees the blood on the lintel, 
and on the two door posts the Lord will pass over yes. the door hallelujah Praise God. and not allow the destroyer mm. not allow the destroyer mm. to come into your houses in fact I'm getting a revelation that is so powerful here the Bible is revealing to us that not not only did the angel of death came to pass but the Lord came ahead of the, the angel of death that is what the Bible is telling us yes 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 that the Lord came ahead oh God praise God do you get what I'm getting here God is loving God is wonderful he comes ahead of the angel of death so the Lord came ahead of the virus that is terrorizing the entire world church of Christ become alive to this fact hallelujah let me read I mean this is good news this is we ought to be celebrating we should not be you know afraid when when we listen to the news when we watch the news the Bible says that for the Lord will pass through to strike the Egyptians and when he sees the blood and the lint, you know, on the lintel and on the two, on the two door posts, the Lord will pass over the door and not allow the destroyer to come into your houses to strike you. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the Lord is making sure that his people are protected. So know that you are protected today. I want you to be aware that the Lord is protecting you. Hallelujah. Imagine all the brethren. Those that go to the airports. Those that go to the hospitals. Those who go to the streets to buy some food. The brethren. Yes. Yes. Are they going to be exposed? No, they will not be exposed. The Lord is protecting them. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, this has to be, you know, a celebration to us. A celebration because we are celebrating the word of God. It has come to pass. I'm strengthened in my faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Mm. You know, what I like most is the revelation that you have said that Lord himself, oh. he goes before, before, he went before the angel of death. Amen. That's so powerful. Mm. It has blessed me so much. Yes. That is why we are saying that Hosea was true, as he said in the book of Hosea 4, verse 6, that my people are destroyed because of lack of knowledge. Oh, so if you don't know things like this, you will be panicking. Yes. You'll be panicking. But it is really to our advantage that when now we spend time in the scriptures, in the scriptures and hear what God is saying, we'll be preserved. Amen. We'll be preserved. Yes. You know, yes. I believe that when Moses taught the people that they should put blood on the doorpost and stay in the house. Mm. Those people that were in the house, as they heard people crying outside, my question is, were they afraid in the house? Ah! Were they panicking in the house? No! Why? Because they knew that on the doorpost, we have put the blood. And they were feasting. They were God. feasting. They were eating. They the were Lord said, celebrate. Celebrate. <laughs> it was a celebration. They were not panicking. Oh, hallelujah. Why are you panicking over coronavirus? <laughs> if you know that Christ is to your side, yes. if the blood of Jesus is on you, oh, if the Holy Spirit is on you, why are you panicking? <sighs> why are you living your life as if you are outside the house that has the blood on the door. Oh, so precious. You should be at peace. Amen. This is enough. This Amen. is so powerful, evangelist. I'm so much blessed. Oh, so precious. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to go to the book of Psalm chapter 91. It is just coming through my spirit Praise God. as you spoke. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. I want you to read it. Psalms chapter 91. 91, yes. 
I'll read uh, from Good News Version. It says, whoever goes to the Lord for safety, whoever remains under the protection of the Almighty, can say to him, you are my defender and my protector. Yes. You are my God. In you I trust. Oh, hallelujah. He will keep you safe from all hidden dangers mm. and from all deadly diseases. <laughs> he will cover you with his wings. Ah. You will be safe in his care. His faithfulness will protect and defend you. Hallelujah. He will you need not fear any dangers at night or sudden attacks during the day oh. or the plagues that strike in the dark. Mm. The plagues that that attack in the dark. In the dark. Wow. Oh. Praise God. Hallelujah. Or oh, plagues that strike in the dark or oh, the evils that kill in the Daylight. In the daylight. He was that kill in daylight. God is promising ah! to protect Hallelujah. whoever is dwelling in the shadow of him of the Almighty. Aye. And verse 7 it says, A thousand may fall dead beside you, ten thousand all around you, but you will not be. Um, hallelujah and that is what is happening right now yes we are hearing you know 200 cases a thousand cases this number this number of people in your city are dying what are you thinking you've got to come back to the words of God Amen. he promised that you know even though 10,000 may fall but side. at your side, Ooh. it shall not come near you. Yes. When you walk with that understanding, God will make sure that His word that He spoke towards your life will not lie. Yes. It will not be a lie. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. It is my responsibility to take that word for me. Hallelujah. Praise God. I dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. I walk in his presence. I remain in his presence. And I know that for as long as I remain under his shadow, no danger yes. shall befall me. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. You are protected. Amen. Because God loves you. You are you are his son. Yes. You are his daughter. Yes. He's yes. making sure that his church is preserved. Yes. The same way he preserved the children of Israel. In Egypt, he protected them. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that is wonderful. Oh, God is wonderful. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. This is wonderful. You, you know, I believe that when you look at Egypt, you know, when he said that we must stay indoors, God knew that the Egyptians were infected. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and so he said we should stay away from them. Mm. That is what they are calling social distancing. Mm. But it's in the scriptures. Mm. That is the reason why we accept. We say yes. This one is in accordance with the scriptures. Yes. So we are going to do it. So church of Jesus. When you do whatever you do. It's not so much because of what has been said by the government. But it is because what they said is in line with the scriptures. Exactly. We are not afraid. We are not living under fear. We are living under the instruction of the Lord. Hallelujah. God. The Egyptians are getting infected. You know, man of God, let it be. I just. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, as you are saying it, that God told them to stay in doors. You know what came in my mind is that verse from the book of Romans chapter 8. Yes. The Bible says all things work together for good. good. For those who love God, Hallelujah. for those who are called according to his purpose. Mm. So, change, they should not panic over this. Yes. They should not think that maybe it is working to their disadvantage. <laughs> you know, I was reading newspaper yesterday. I was so surprised to see that they said that churches 
based on what? Clothes. Clothes. But they said the taverns, they can still be running. <laughs> running. And they can't arrest those people who are in the taverns. So this is the picture that we are having. That I'm God sorry. is preserving the church. Hallelujah. They might be going to the taverns. Ah. They might be meeting wherever they want to meet. We should not be worried. We should not, you know. And the scriptures, good. the script exactly, all things work together oh. for good to them that love oh, God. God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. So God has a plan. We should not look at it as, you know, as, as a punishment, mm. as a persecution. They think that they are persecuting us, the church of Christ. <laughs> Can I say something, <laughs> my gentleman? Yes, please. <laughs> the downfall of Satan, oh. it is in his success. <laughs> Glory to God. You know, when ah! the devil is saying that I have succeeded, I have stopped the church, <laughs> yes, that yes. is where he is falling. <laughs> that is where he is. Oh, glory you to know, God. Glory that is where he is being defeated. Wow. He was celebrating that I have defeated <laughs> Jesus. I have defeated Jesus. Ah! I have conquered him. Little Before did he know it. that it was his <laughs> great downfall. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. This is Ooh. powerful. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, receive the word of God. I mean, God does not contradict himself. You see, when the Apostle Paul says that the devil is the God of this world, he is not saying that he is the God as we understand it. It simply means that, you know, the people of this world who don't have God in their hearts, you know, are following the devil than the people of God. Hallelujah. Praise God. They are ruled by the devil. Yes. yes. They walk according, you know, to the knowledge of the devil than the knowledge of God. That is why Paul said that he is the God of this. He, in other words, he is their God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Their God. Mm. But that God that is theirs is not wiser than the church of Jesus Christ. Amen. And he is not also wiser than God. Mm. So everything that he does, he does it based on his wisdom that has been corrupted. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so all things work together for our good. Mm. We are going from glory to glory. We are going from success to success. We are making progress. The church is marching on. The church is impacting the world. The church is moving, moving forward and upward. We are changing every every facet of, of the earth. Hallelujah. The glory of God is upon us. And we are winning souls. Even though we are from the houses, we are winning souls. That is the reason why we have my Zoe. The application so that we can go Continue to win souls Amen. with their own technologies. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God. So we are unstoppable. Yes. We are unmovable. Yes. We cannot be shaken. Mm. Hallelujah. God. The Bible says that, you know, when Paul was in prison, when he was in prison, they kept worshiping God. Yes. And as they worshiped God, the Bible says that the angel of the Lord came and delivered them. Yes. Hallelujah. God. So anything is possible. Hallelujah. Yes, the church has the supernatural hand of God. Yes. So I want you, if you are a pastor, if you have a church, I want you, you know, I want you to take charge of my Zoe, the application. Yes. And invite all your members. Amen. Invite all your members. Because they say to us that we are not able to meet in temples, in groups. They might as well say that we are not supposed to use WhatsApp or Facebook or Twitter or any of the platforms, you know, to yes. preach the gospel. Yes. That is the reason why we have my Zoe, the application, so that you can have your members, your own members in a group. Hallelujah. Yes, God. And win more souls for your church. Hallelujah. Yes, God. The time has come for us to take charge. Hallelujah. So whatever is happening in the world right now, it is to our advantage. Amen. Amen. It is to your advantage, Church yes. of Jesus. Yes. 
it is to your advantage to even do more for the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Man of God, I want you to pray for the body of Christ worldwide. To speak words of blessings, oh, yes. words of encouragement. Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you right now. Because we have been told today that you went before coronavirus. Amen. Before it came here, oh Lord, you were already here. You are never late. Nothing gets you by surprise. Amen. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we are praying for our viewers right now. Amen. Wherever they are, let your courage, your Lord, be with them. Those whom they gave up, those whom they were afraid. Father, I pray that let that hope be restored Amen. in their lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, those whom they were afraid, we are casting out Amen. the spirit of fear. Amen. The Bible says you have not blessed us with the spirit of fear, oh, but of Lord. power, yes. love, and yes. self-control. Yes. Father, yes. we are praying that yes. let that spirit, spirit of power, yes. love, and yes. self-control fill their hearts. Amen. Let peace fill their hearts. So In the name of the Lord so Jesus Christ, Father, we are praying even for those who are infected. Yes. Let your healing locate them. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. The Bible says you have given us a name above all names. Amen. The name of Jesus that is above coronavirus. We are praying that healing take place. Yes. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are overcoming coronavirus with the blood of Jesus. We are overcoming it in our houses. We are overcoming it in our family members. We are overcoming are coming in yes, yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Father, we are praying that your way is spread through the way. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Father, we are praying that this way, the Lord, it is it is becoming beneficial and profitable to everyone, oh Lord, who is taking time to listen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Bible says that the word of God shall not return void. We are praying that this word, oh Lord, shall not return void. It is carrying your power. You are delivering power. You are resurrecting power. You are you are healing power in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you have done. Blessed be your name forever and ever. Amen and amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. May God bless you. Amen. Amen.